If you like to organize Excel workbooks with colored sheet tabs, this technique will help you look at just a specific color set of sheet tabs and hide everything else. There's a drop down list where we can select a group name. So let's look at the intro sheets and there's the green sheet and the menu. Select other sheets with no fill color matching this cell, admin, the blue tabs are showing, blue is selected here. The menu sheet is always visible just so we can reselect and we'll go back to all and that shows all the sheets. So this works with a drop down list. The list comes from the admin list sheet. I've got five different group names here. All is at the top and then three sheets and the colors that are an exact match for the sheet tabs and then other has no fill color in it and there are a few sheets that have no fill color. I've also got a couple of formulas here that the macro will use to find the selected item in the list. There are names so this group of cells has a name and if we look here it is sheet types so that's the selection there. This cell is named as well. It is cell type num. And back on the menu sheet, this cell with the drop down list is named select type. When you select from this cell, code runs automatically. And to see that code, I'm going to right click on the menu tab, click view code, and here's the code worksheet change. So anytime there's a change to a cell, this code would start to run. And somewhere near the top here, we're saying if the target address is the same address as that named cell, the select type, if it's this cell that was changed, then things will happen. Otherwise, it's not going to run the rest of this code. So we turn off enable events and screen updating. That just makes this work faster. It sets some variables and tells Excel where things are. Then it shows all the sheets. So every sheet in the workbook becomes visible. It puts a color in this cell based on what we've selected and it'll change the font color too. And then if we select it all or if we just left that selection cell empty, nothing else will happen. Otherwise, it's going to hide the sheets. It'll look at the color of the sheet tab, compare it to the color we selected, and if it's not a match, then that sheet is hidden. So only the sheets that match the color will be left visible. Next, I'll show you the steps to get this set up in one of your own workbooks. And the first thing to do is go to my website. There should be a link below this video and download the sample file so that you have it to look at as a guide and you can also copy the code from it. You're not going to be able to see all the code in this video and, and get it from there. So I'm going to go to a little workbook that I've set up and it's ready to start putting all these items in. I have a menu sheet where I'm going to put the drop down list. I have another sheet set up here where I've put the list of different kinds of sheets that I'm going to use in this workbook. I want to have all at the top and I put a bracket in front of that so it looks like the all you would see in a filter in Excel but also because it has that bracket it's going to go to the top of the list if you sort it. Then I've put in green and blue and no color just to match the sheets that I have here. Now I want to put the colors here that match my sheet tabs. So I'm going to select a green one and I'll check which green color I have here. I'll right click on a sheet tab, tab color, and it's that second last green. So I'll use that. So on my list sheet now, here I can go to the home tab and the second last green, I can change that to white font so it's easier to read. The font color here won't have any effect on which sheet tabs are selected. Next for the blue, I'm going to 
figure out which blue we're using. So it's that top blue. I'm going back to my list, the blue, whoop, the top blue, and again I'll use that white font. This one has no color, so that's fine. And all, I'll just leave it with no color as well. Now I want to make this into a formatted Excel table. So with any cell here selected, on the Home tab, go to Format as Table, and just pick one of these, but then right click on it, Apply and Maintain Formatting, because you don't want to lose those colors that you've set up. My table has headers, and OK. We're going to name this list, and if you looked at the sample file, we've got a named range sheet types, and that's this list. So in our own workbook, select all those cells, don't select the heading, and then click in the name box here and type that name, sheet types, all one word, and then press enter. So it's going to go right back to the table name. If you click somewhere away from that list, go back and select the name, it selects those cells that you included in the name. From this list, we're going to create a drop down cell on the menu. So here on the menu, you can select any cell you want. I'll select this one and go over to the data tab, data validation. We want a list, and for the source, we want that name we just created. The easiest way to get that is to press the F3 key on your keyboard. Select that name and click OK, and it'll put it in with an equal sign in front of it. Click OK, and now you've got the list. Now we can't get colors in this list. It's not going to pick up the formatting from the list that you created. It's just going to show the text items. This cell will also get a name, just like our list did. And if we go back to our sample file, here's the sheet selection dropdown. And the name of that is Select Type. So we'll use the same name in our workbook. In here, we're going to type Select Type, all one word, and press Enter. Okay, and then I'll just put a border around that cell so we can remember which one we were using. Now, next I'm going to put in the formulas that will figure out what we selected and where it is in the list. So I'll go back to the list sheet, and I'll put the formulas up here. The first formula is just going to connect to that cell on the menu sheet, just for convenience so we can see what we selected. I'll type an equal sign, go to the menu sheet, and because it's a data validation cell, it won't let you click on it. But you can click the cell above and then use the down arrow key on your keyboard to go to that cell and press enter. So there's what we selected and it's just equal to that named cell on the menu sheet. Now the real work is going to be in this cell over here. We're going to find this cell in this list so that the macro will be able to then find that cell and get the color from it. So in this cell, we're going to start with a match formula and just match what's here in this list. So equals match. And the lookup value is what's in this cell, and then a comma. Where we want it to look is in our named list here. So if I select all those cells, it's picking up the column in the table. I want it to use the name that I created, so I'm going to just delete that and press F3 again. And we want our sheet types. So that puts that into the formula for us. Then comma. And we want an exact match, so double click on that. and close that bracket. And that tells us that green is the second item in this list, and that's correct. We're going to make sure that it can handle any errors, though. And so I'm going to use if error around this 
So I'll click right after the equal sign and type if error, open bracket. And then at the end, we're going to tell it what to do if it does find an error. So comma, and if it can't figure out what we've selected, just use one. So it'll always go to all if it can't figure out what sheet. So if the cell were empty or some other kind of problem, it'll just go with the, the first option. And then press enter. Now this formula cell also has a name. And if you look at the sample file, that cell is named cell type num. I'll just copy that with control C. I'll come over here, click in the name box and control V to paste that and press enter. So now that cell is named as well. So we've got everything set up. We just need the code that will run when we change this cell. To see the code, I'm going to this workbook, the sample file, go to the menu sheet, right click that menu tab and click view code. And in here is all the code that runs and we want to copy that into our workbook. To copy everything, I'm going to do control A and then copy with control C. And now I'm going over to my other workbook and here's our one we're setting up. I'll right click on the menu, view code. So if somebody else has set something up, you might have to check with them first. But if it's just an empty page, then control V and paste your code that you copied. So over here in our workbook, let's try that. I'm going to select blue and could not show the sheets. So if the code doesn't run correctly, we can check and see what's going wrong. So let's right click here, view the code. In our workbook, we just named the sheet lists and in the sample file, it's called admin lists. So I'm going to change that to match our file. So now I'm going back to my sheet, the menu sheet, blue, and there are the blue, green, no color, and all. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.